I'd like to take a quick moment to thank Chantelle at Crafty Hints, Brenda at Rustic and Lace DIYs, and Amanda at Six Kids in a Glue Gun for inviting me to participate in this challenge. So let's get started. Craft number one. For this craft, we're going to use some of the nautical decor items at the Dollar Tree and incorporate them into a patriotic themed uh, decor sign. So these are some fun little stars that I found in the nautical section. And I'm just going to tape off the top little parts of the um, hooks because I do not want them to get any paint on them. And so I'm gonna set these on a paintable surface and I'm going to paint them with my Waverly White chalk paint. For these starfish, I did have to do uh, two coats of paint to cover those blue stripes in the fish. Once I have the second coat of paint on the fish, I go ahead and remove the blue painter's tape and set them aside to dry. Now it is time to prep the board. I'm going to go ahead and remove the hanger from this board and we won't be using that hanger there. I'm gonna grab my antique wax from Waverly and I'm going to go ahead and stain or paint this uh, board on both sides. So basically to do that, you do a thick coat of paint and then you wipe it clean with either a paper towel, I use baby wipes, and then you let them dry. Once the wax paint has dry, I go ahead and I grab my straight edge and some blue painter's tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure one inch down on the board and I'm going to lay down that painter's tape. Then I'm going to take some of my red paint, and this I did get from Walmart, and I'll uh, link that below in the description if you're interested in that. But I go ahead and I just paint that lightly on the top row there. And if you get too much paint, it's not a big deal. You can go ahead and wipe it clean with a baby wipe or a paper towel, but you wanna still kind of see the wood grain underneath that paint. Now we're gonna repeat that step by going down an additional inch. And for this, I'm going to make sure that the red paint is really dry. And then I'm going to put another piece of blue tape to cover the red tape paint so that way I can go ahead and paint a blue stripe. Now you see with this blue paint, it did go on pretty thick. So I did have to wipe it down with a baby wipe just so that I could see the wood grain in between. Now I'm gonna continue to do these steps for the next three rows of paint that I'm going to paint. Now just in case you didn't notice, I did get this board at the Dollar Tree, so you should be able to find that there. If you can't, you can probably get something similar at Walmart or at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or use a piece of scrap wood, but you could do so many different things with this. I love this technique. Now that we're finished painting these stripes on the board, I'm gonna grab this metal ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree last year, and I'm going to put two pieces on either end of the board. And this will cover the holes that were there uh, for the original tag that was on this board. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side, and I'm just using hot glue to do this. And then I'm using my pink clips to hold those in place. So with these metal ribbons, at first I thought I was gonna fold them over on the edge of the piece of wood here, but then I decided that I was going to just cut them flat with the piece of wood, so then that way there'd be nothing on the back side to catch on the wall. Um, but you can do it either way, it's completely up to you. So we're gonna grab our stars, and I'm going to flip them over and attach this Dollar Tree Super Glue Tape. It works really well on attaching items to stuff that you're going to put outside. Um, I'm also going to use a little bit of hot glue. So I grab my straight edge and I'm going to measure the sign and find the three spots that I'd like to attach the stars. And I just put a little dot on the piece of wood where I want to attach them since they'll be covered up with the star. Now it's time to peel that tape off of that super glue tape and we'll go ahead and add some hot glue and I'll center these on that bottom blue line and attach these stars to the board. So while the glue sets on those stars, I'm gonna grab a roll of ribbon. This ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance and it's very rustic but has lots of silver sparkles in it. 
So for this bow, I'm going to go ahead and do six loops. So I do one loop on one side, I do another loop on the other, and I keep doing that until I have six loops, three on each side and two small tails. And I'm going to attach this with a piece of uh, pipe cleaner, and this one is silver, and then I twist it around in the back there. For the next step, I'm going to trim some of that pipe cleaner off the bow. Once that's trimmed, I will cut the tails on my ribbon. And you can leave the uh, bow looking just like that if you'd like, but I wanted to add something extra to it, so I grabbed the roll of ribbon and I trimmed a small piece off of the ribbon. And as you can see in the video, I'm just going to hot glue that small piece of ribbon around the center of the bow. Next, we're gonna hot glue that ribbon to the top loop above the star. So I found this jute ribbon in the nautical section at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was very patriotic. They had it in red, white, and blue. And I'm going to use the white jute twine here. And I'm going to attach that to the two loops on either end. So what are your favorite patriotic crafts? Please share in the comments below. I then tie both of those pieces of jute twine together at the top to make a nice little hanger. And that's it. Now we have some beautiful patriotic wall hooks. Craft number two. For this craft, we're gonna use that new burlap fabric that they have at the Dollar Tree and some fun ribbons that they also have at the Dollar Tree. For this step, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut my ribbon into seven inch pieces. And we will need 15 pieces. And if your roll of ribbon from the Dollar Tree is the right length, that it says on the package, then you should be able to get all 15 out of one roll. But mine was not, so I needed a second roll to get that last piece. So with this wider ribbon, I'm going to go ahead and fold them in half vertically and then cut in half. And you can see me doing that in the video here. So with those 15 pieces cut in half, we now have 30 pieces. Let's grab our burlap fabric. Now I'm going to measure this and it's gonna be about 14 and a half inches in length. And so I'm gonna cut these in one inch strips and then I'll fold them in half and set them aside. And we're going to cut these until we have 30 pieces. So this small wreath form has three sections and we're going to use 10 pieces of ribbon per section, per style of ribbon. So you're gonna see me there tying one piece of ribbon to the first two outer rings. And then we're going to move that up to that brace and we're gonna flip that over and see how that looks. Now we're going to do that again and we're going to do the middle ring and the inside ring for the next piece. And we're going to use the same two ribbons in a row so that way we have a nice little row of the star shapes. Once that is done, we are going to grab two of the polka dot ribbons and we're going to do two right next to it as well. And we're gonna do the outer two rings, then the inner two rings. Outer two rings, then the inner two rings. And this will make it look very nice and even on the front side of the wreath, but also makes it look nice and lay flat on the back side of the wreath. You might notice in the video here that I'm only tying the burlap ribbon in one knot, and I'm using two knots for the star shaped ribbon. And that's because the burlap ribbon, it was falling apart really quickly, and I liked how it looked on the um, wreath. It was very rustic, but if I tried putting a double knot into that um, ring, it kind of tore apart the burlap. So you have to be a little bit careful with that. Last step here, I'm going to take a wood star ornament and I think I got this from Ben Franklin which is a local craft store here and I'm going to go ahead and tie that to the wreath on the back side there and then I'm going to take some hot glue and just attach it in the corners of the star just so that it doesn't move around too much on my wreath and that's it we have a beautiful wreath that we can do for our patriotic decor craft number three 
For this craft, we're gonna use that fun jute twine in red, white, and blue, and some different bead sets that I found at the Dollar Tree. And the first bead set is patriotic, and I'm gonna just take all the beads off of that bead set. The other one was a nautical bead set, but I loved the square beads on this. So I'm gonna take, and I took out 14 beads, and I saved the rest of the beads for another craft at a later time. And I used these bamboo sticks here, and I actually put the bead on the bamboo stick, and I paint each bead individually. I know it takes a little while, but it's one coat on each bead, and it's not very many beads. And so I just like how the finish looks for me, but I know there's all sorts of other techniques you can use to, co to color the beads. So while the beads are drying, we're going to go ahead and make a tassel. And I'm going to kind of do this in slower motion here so you guys can see how this is made. I go ahead and I tape down a piece of string that I'm going to actually use to bead um, the garland. And I then take my jute twine and I'm gonna tape down the end. And I'm just gonna wrap that around that piece of wood. I think I wrapped it around about 15 times. And once I've done wrapping all of that twine, I go ahead and I tape it where it's at in place and then I cut it just so it's a little bit easier to do. Um, you don't have to tape it, but it makes it easier for me to make sure I get a nice good uh, tassel. Now I'm gonna take that string that we're going to actually use for beading and I'm going to tie a knot at the top of this twine Then once that knot is tied, I'm going to grab my scissors and on the opposite end, I'm going to uh, cut the twine off of the board. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and just make that into a nice little tassel and to attach the tassel to keep it in place, I'm going to cut another piece of twine off of the red, white, and blue twine that we have. And I'm going to just make a little ring and I'm gonna go wrap that around the tassel that we have there twice. And then I tie a knot. I think I actually tied a double knot into this. And then we're going to smooth out part of that string into the tassel. And then the top part of the knot, the string on that side, I'll just go ahead and trim that off. So now that our tassel is done, let's go ahead and string some beads on with the garland. So I start with the square brown beads and then I go red, white, blue. And then I do brown bead again and go red, white, blue. And I continue until I use up all of the beads. And you might see me put the little piece of extra string and I kind of tuck that into the beads on the very end so you can't see them on the garland. So now that we have all of our beads on our garland, I'm going to go ahead and I found these cute star, I don't even know what they were called, um, ornaments from the Dollar Tree and they had them in red, white, and blue. And so I decided to tie a red star on the end of this garland. felt like it needed something more so I did take the red white and blue twine and I actually weaved that through the hook on the red star and I tied a basic bow onto the hook and voila we have this beautiful garland that you can put on your tiered tray or on any other decor that you have in the house for a patriotic theme. Thank you again for watching. If you'd like to see more videos, please click on the playlist to the right. Have a great day.